I came to get down, I came to get down So get out to sleep and jump around What's going on guys? It's your bro Brandon and guys I'm on a different level of hype right now We just hit 400 subs like two days ago Not even two weeks ago when I posted my last video I was at 200 subscribers So guys that's freaking like that's incredible I can't even speak I'm speechless at 400 subs guys Could you just imagine like ever I hit a million I'm be like <laughs> Once we hit 500 subs I'm gonna be doing a giveaway I'm gonna give away $25 to four different people they're gonna be Amazon gift cards It's the least I can do to show my appreciation for you guys the support so without further ado guys, let's get right into this video. Today, we're gonna be going over five easy ass ways that you can look freaking muscular without ever picking up a dumbbell. So if that sounds interesting, let's get right into this video. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. You wanna buy some athletic fit shirts, guys. This may seem obvious or maybe it doesn't, but guys, Having something that fits you is definitely gonna play a factor in how muscular you look. I understand that right now in fashion, everybody's wearing like the 90s look. It's all like oversized clothing. Obviously that's not gonna accentuate any of your nice body parts. So that is definitely not what you wanna be buying if you're trying to look more muscular. If you are trying to look more muscular, you wanna be looking for these athletic shirts and you can find these at H&M, Zara. They've all got these. If you look at the top of the tag, you should see what type of fit the shirt is. Some will say standard fit, some will say athletic, fit some will say muscle fit some will say slim fit they're all gonna have their own different types of fits but you want to look for the ones that are like your slim fits your muscle fits or your athletic fits because those are gonna be what's gonna be best for your body it's gonna be a little bit tighter around the chest it's gonna be tighter around the arms it's gonna make you look like Ronnie Coleman guys you're gonna be like yeah yeah buddy lightweight baby so you want to wear light colored t-shirts the reason being guys is because when you wear white or you wear light colors it's gonna make you look actually bigger it's the same thing with a room if you paint it white it's gonna look bigger conversely if you have darker clothing on it's gonna make you look slimmer smaller so guys if you wanted to look slimmer or you're a bigger guy that might be a better option for you and it's gonna accentuate your arms because then your arms are gonna look massive and your body's gonna look more slender. But if you're really skinny and you wanna look more muscular, throw on that white shirt and it's gonna make a huge difference. And that's the reason why I always choose white underwear, guys, because everybody be thinking I'm packing, but in reality, they, I got a freaking acorn, guys. Bruh. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you want to add some layers. Reason being is it's common sense, guys. The more layers you put on, the more thickness it's going to add to your body, the wider your frame's going to look. I'm not telling you to go out there and go buy the biggest puffer jacket you can find. So we're all out standing on the corner of the road looking like Michelin Man. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying maybe throw on like an undershirt, something like what I'm wearing right now. So I have a shirt underneath, I've got a sweater on top. Not only is it gonna keep you warm, but it's gonna add some thickness to your arms, to your chest. It's just gonna make you look overall bigger. As you guys can see, my arms are looking pretty small right now, but bigger than usual, guys. So if you put on an extra layer, it actually makes quite a big difference. So you wanna get some nice slim fitted tailored pants, guys. Take some of your pants and just Take it to the tailor's guys. It's like 10 to $15 to get your pants tailored and it works wonders. It makes you look a million times better. But guys, when you wear a nice slim fitted pants, it's gonna make your upper body look quite a bit larger as well. And if you've never gone to the gym before, you never hit a leg day, I'm assuming your upper body is a little bit bigger than your legs. So it's only gonna make it look even bigger. <laughs> you obviously, you don't wanna wear like super skinnies or spray-ons because it doesn't matter how big your legs are at that point. If you got the tiniest legs in the world, if you got the biggest legs in the world, spray-ons look horrible. So don't do that. Just go take it to your tailor, 10 to $15. You're gonna look a hundred times better. Wear stripes, guys. Stripes actually influence the size of things. A vertical stripe is gonna make you appear taller. So if you're a really short dude and you're a little bit insecure about your height, you can wear stripes. Obviously, it's not gonna change your height, but it's gonna make it seem like you're a little bit taller than you are. The opposite is true for horizontal stripes. If you're wearing horizontal stripes, it's gonna make you appear broader, more wide. So if that's what you're looking for, maybe you should be wearing the horizontal stripes as well because it's just gonna make you look overall bigger, just like all of these other ones as well it's all an illusion though guys so if you're really trying to get bigger there's only one option you got that's to start eating a lot of mcdonald's no i'm totally joking obviously you would have to go to the gym so that is it for today's video guys i hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy this video please smash that like button hit that subscribe button thank you guys again for 400 subs you guys are insane and i will catch you guys in the next video your bro brandon peace out and take care guys